Go ahead. Yeah, right. You know, I just wanted, because this feeling is there that, you know, everything, that, uh, all the freedom of speech and expression is being trampled since 2014. So I just, I just want to tell that, you know, there is nothing new in this. So if you give me a couple of minutes with your permission, yeah, go ahead. I'd like to narrate the trampling of freedom of speech and expression uh, under Jawaharlal Nehru, the paragon and protector of liberty and free speech. So here is the list. The First Amendment was brought in with clauses of reasonable restrictions, incitement, disruption of public order. Majru was jailed for one year for calling Nehru Hitler ka chela. First democratically elected communist government in Kerala was dismissed. Stanley Wolpert's book Nine Hours to Rama was banned. The book Chandra Mohini was banned. Aubrey Menem's The Ramayana was banned. Campbell's The Heart of India was banned. Coastler's The Lotus and the Robot was banned. Import of any newspaper that undermined friendly relations with foreign states was banned. Aziz Baig's Captive Kashmir was banned. Frischler's Aisha was banned. Bertrand Russell's Unarmed Victory was banned. Robson's Nine Hours to Rama was banned. Sardanvi's Marka e Somnath was banned. Robert Taylor's The Dark Urge was banned. Selling Lady Chatelier's Lover was banned. The book What Has Religion Done for Mankind was banned. Rawat Wang's Bhupat Singh was banned. Import of any obscene drawing or painting was banned. Mrinal Sain's theme Neel Akshar Nietzsche was banned. Menon's Rama Retold was banned. Tony Hagen's book Nepal was banned. The RSS organizers were censored. Its publishers prosecuted. Film Gokul Shankar was banned. Godse's testimony was banned. Goswami's film Runumi was banned. Historian Dharampal was jailed for criticizing Nehru post-Indochina war. Release of the 1962 war film Bhul Na Jana was blocked. President Rajendra Prasad's speech was barred from distribution. Film Jharna was banned. Draconian Objectionable Act press was passed. Columnist Vivek was fired. His column critical of Nehru discontinued. HT editor Durga Das was fired. His column critical of Nehru family discontinued. Congress leaders demanding Nehru's resignation was banned and arrested and jailed. Ads to Times of India were discontinued for speaking against government policy. Magazine Crossroads was banned. Play Okay. Ningaline Communist Taki was banned. Its actors arrested. Hindi film songs were banned from being played on the AIR. Just 30 more seconds. Congress demanded a ban on the iconic film Parasakti. Film Nastik was banned. Western pop music was banned from the AIR. People's Theatre Association was banned. Play Haripada Master was banned. Film Ganga Jamna was blocked. Sarachan Chattopadhyay's play Mahesh was banned. Tagore's play Gora was banned. Balrat Sani's play Jadu Ki Kursi was banned. Tagore's play Bisarjan was banned. Pradeep's film song was deleted. Two songs from Fir Subay Ogi were banned. Harmonium was banned from the AIR. Film Jugnu was banned. Editor Pralad Kashe Atre was jailed for writing critical article. But hey, Nehru was liberal and protected freedom of speech and expression. Okay, well, look, the objective is not to get drawn into, uh, you know, who started it first, etc., etc. While I value your intervention, I think, uh, Mr. N. Ram, as a member of uh, the press, uh, 